Hi, I'm Philip Batley. I voiced the audiobook versions of Tim Hines' cyber thrillers. In the best interests, pick a packet or two and 2020 hindsight. I hope you enjoy this extract. The email wasn't sent by mistake. Oh, that's interesting. And the person who sent it is now under military arrest and facing a court-martial? Not quite. He's a defence contractor. But I wouldn't imagine he's going to be getting his contract renewed. And why did he send it? Because he discovered the biggest breach of classified computer systems ever to be discovered, and everyone in my government, and yours too, is ignoring it. Mine? I was genuinely surprised. Mine already know. At the highest levels, but no one's interested. How much information are we talking? Do you like football? Steve's question threw me completely. Um. Do you mean American football? No, I mean your football. Soccer, as I'd call it, he said. Do you like it? It's okay. I prefer rugby. Why? But you're familiar with Wembley Stadium? Of course, Steve. Every Brit is familiar with Wembley. It's iconic. Well, take that icon in your mind and imagine it filled from side to side and bottom to top with pieces of A4-sized paper. Millions and millions and millions of pieces of paper. Uh, okay. And? And that is the equivalent of how much information has been stolen from your networks. I tried to comprehend the image. I failed. You mean U.S. networks? Oh, no, Luke. We've lost way more than that. The Wembley analogy is just for you. The U.S. has lost so much more than that. That's ridiculous. No one could process that amount of data. The information overload is so large that the theft would be meaningless. Not quite. It would be, Steve. I'm sorry, but I know what trying to process incoming intelligence reports is like. Once you get past a saturation point, it becomes useless. True, I'd normally agree with you. Unless, of course, you imagine the pyramids. You do like your analogies, Steve, but I'm not Egyptian, and that one has quite lost me. You can build the pyramids if you have enough personnel, Luke. You can process millions and billions of pieces of information if you know what you're looking for in the first place and have unimaginable resources. There's no way the Russians have that type of capability, I said, and watched a wave of total confusion pass across Steve's face. Who mentioned the Russians? This isn't Moscow, look. This is the Chinese. The highest levels in Beijing are targeting Western computer systems and using the People's Liberation Army to do it. It's the PLA who are data mining, and they have so many people they could build the damn pyramids in their spare time. Hi, thanks for watching. We hope you're enjoying our interviews and book readings. And if you are, leave us a comment. Tell us what your favourite book genres are. Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that bell so you don't miss out when we post new content.